Well, good morning. It's June 7th, and it's somewhere around noon. My name is Francis Poulin, or Mr. Fran the Guitar Man, or also known as Guitar Fran. And as I promised, the last time we got together, we did the pentatonic minor or rock um, number two, page number two. Remember, number one started at the fifth fret, then we went to the eight, then the five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight, and back. Then number two, we started where the fourth finger was on eight, go eight, ten, then seven, ten, seven, ten, seven, nine, then eight, ten, eight, ten. So if you want to jam around in that a little bit. Now a cool trick here is you can put your first finger on the 8th fret, go down to the 10th fret of the 3rd string and bend that up 2 frets. Then they match. GG. So that's where you get that squealing. Or well, like vice versa on the yep, 2 below it. But that's not the purpose of this. The purpose of this is to go we're going to go horizontal. So we're going to go five, eight, then down to, into two, ten. So we get five, eight, ten. Then we got five, then seven, ten, five, seven, ten. So five, eight, ten. See, so it's not just we can also go horizontal. Now we can use two strings horizontally too. So we're not just to go on five, eight, ten. Five, seven, ten. So we got Oops, my rule. Now we can hammer. Pull off. We can hammer on the next one down. Or we can go down to number two stand and hammer it two to four. Then four to two. Or we can go hammer on the eight and slide into the ten. And stay there. Or seven on the fifth string. Now the fourth string, we're going the same string as the fifth, five, we're going to go seven, ten. So if we wanted to, we could go horizontal amongst them both going backwards, sounds pretty cool. Right. 
10, 10 to 7. Fifth string five seven, then to eight on the six. Now I'm at the tenth fret on the fifth string, and I'm going to go down to the um, tenth fret on the fourth string. I mean to the seventh fret rather on the fourth. Ten seven, and then I'm going to go to ten on the fourth string. Hammer on, pull off. Now the next string we're gonna go five, seven, nine. Pretty cool. So I can go from the tenth fret on the fourth to the seventh fret on the third. Five, I'm going to go five, seven, on the third, pull off, and then I'm going to go to the seventh and the fourth. Then on the second string, I'm going to go to the five, eight, ten. Now I can bend up to that E. Okay. Now here I'm hammering from eight to ten on the second string. Pull it off, then sliding back to the fifth fret of the second string. I could also go to the ninth fret on the third string. Now I'm doing the second and the third and the fifth together. simple. That's around the 5th to the 7th and it kind of stays consistent in there. The only difference is the 2nd string goes to the 8th fret. So we got a little... There it is, the 8th fret. Now once I'm there, I can come up to the 8th fret on the 1st string and play them together. And then hammer on the 10th fret on the 2nd. Then take that 10th fret and pull it up, bend it up just one fret to the blues note, and back down. You never want to resolve or stay on the blues note too long. So if we're doing a little blues, and A, and we, don't we want to use that, the blues note. Now I'm going to bend the seventh fret of the third string up two frets. And I'm picking the E on the second string, the fifth fret.
the Hendrix chord, like the E, like a B seventh, but the pinky is on the second string, one fret out. Okay. Um, let's say we were doing a Tom Petty, like a. That's A minor to G. That's all we're doing is jamming on that. So remember now, what we're going to focus on is 5, 8, 10, 5, 7, 10, 5, 7, 10. Now on third, 5, 7, 9. On the second, 5, 8, 10. On the first, 5, 8, 10. Now you can always use this A note here too as an open string. Well, I'm hammering on the fourth string to the seventh and using the open note and I'm muting it with my right hand. See that? Now I'm going to do a bend. That's it. Peace. Next time, I'm going to give you a little backtracking. I'm going to play some background and rhythm chords for you, and you're going to be jamming to this. So we'll have some fun with that. And I think we'll take a break from the scales for one lesson. Maybe after that, next day, we'll come up with, uh, we'll do a little of um, the Oasis, pretty reckless version. I think of um, Champagne Supernova would be a good one to learn. If you've got any suggestions or comments, please send them in and, and subscribe, 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 and listen and like if you would choose to. I really appreciate it, man. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful day in this crazy world. Peace. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.